we need we need representation at every level. It's every level, every party. There's no party that doesn't have any work to be done. We oftentimes hear politicians saying diversity is our strength. It's a statement that's been made right across Canada. But can we really say that our governments themselves are representative of the people living in our country? Operation Black Vote Canada says there's still some ways to go. And at this point, there are no more excuses. If their outreach is not bringing in or even see seeking out those people, those minority groups, not just the Black community, but other communities as well, then they're not doing their job to represent the community. Operation Black Vote Canada practices what they preach, investing time, supports and resources, encouraging more Black Canadians to participate in all levels of government and civil service. Without diverse voices at the table, um, we weren't able to hear all the voices of Canadians because we are a diverse country. And then in turn, our, our policy will not truly reflect our society. The nonpartisan, not for profit organization focuses on simplifying a process that can be intimidating, helping black professionals who are interested in a career in politics and running a variety of programs and fellowships. A happy Black History Month. Ariel Kayabaga participated in the municipal boot camp and became the first black woman elected to London City Council in 2018. I loved Black Vote. I felt safe, you know, um, and to this day, they are my people when I feel drained. And Kayabaga has experienced something not every politician will, racism. She says it is a constant in party politics. She faced racism while campaigning and on the job. At one point, a stalker that she says threatened and harassed her. I did not know to what level and to what extent and how it was going to affect me. Um, but I knew I was going to face some type of racism. And I did. And I was really surprised at how much it affected me. And one year ago, she says a council colleague moved a motion to kick her out during a budget meeting. It was unsuccessful. All of that happened because we had a, a budget item where they were proposing cuts on public Wi-Fi. Um, uh, sorry, the hotspot. Wi-Fi. Kaya Baga fights for the programs and policies that she knows will impact those most vulnerable and in the worst ways. Her voice at the table reflects the core values of what Operation Black Boat Canada embodies, championing equity and equality for a better Canada. The reason why we're still pushing and why we're still so strong is because um, our ancestors are supporting us, they're rooting for us. And um, I share that with my son often. Um, and he's so proud to be black. He's much more proud to be black than I was when I was his age. And the London councillor continues to stay active with Operation Black Vote Canada, hoping to open doors for others and perhaps one day the country's next leader. In Toronto, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.